Hi guys, so I uh, just got myself a new toy and I wanted to make a quick unboxing video for a Logitech Wireless G700 gaming mouse. Now if we take a look at this mouse, starting with the outside of the box, uh, you can see in the front you have the mouse itself protected behind this little uh, hard plastic bubble that everything seems to be wrapped in. We have a little wireless receiver tucked in down here to show you the size. Rotating around the box, we see some uh, specifications about the mouse, uh, some highlights on the key features for this mouse that make it a gaming grade mouse, uh, some more information about some of the features, uh, information about system requirements on the bottom, and oh, it looks like we even have a free copy of is that Red Orchestra 2? Because that would be cool. Nope, that is Red Orchestra 1. Sweet. They threw in a six-year-old game for free. Just what I wanted. Uh, in any case, let's go ahead and open up this mouse and unbox it. You can see that we have a little cardboard tab that we can pull to slide this mouse right out. Um, looks like we have a little coupon down here for Red Orchestra 1. I really don't have a use for this, but you know what? Uh, at the end of this video, I'll do a quick little contest and uh, give this code away for anyone who might still want that game. So looking at this mouse, we see that we have the mouse itself, and if we sort of just lift up this little cardboard, you can see that this cardboard is kind of just coming apart at the hinges. We can take the mouse out. Right underneath its bubble, plastic bubble wrap, we have the mouse that comes out just like that, and the little wireless receiver that comes out just like that. Now this wireless receiver looks just like a Logitech Nano receiver, but this is not a Nano receiver. This is actually a Logitech G series receiver. The difference is that the G series receiver is for gaming grade wireless devices, currently of which there's only one, this Logitech G700 mouse. This wireless receiver does operate at higher USB polling rates, which means that uh, your computer will be receiving signals from your mouse at a much higher rate, which is one of the key reasons why we bother to spend extra on a gaming grade mouse. You'll notice that with the small profile of this little G series receiver, you can have something like a laptop here where you can plug that right in. Very low profile, barely gets in the way. But we have this wireless receiver here, and we'll go ahead and use that later. Now, moving on to take a look at some of the other contents of this box, we see here that we have a USB data cable. Uh, this USB data cable has USB at one end and a micro USB plug at the other end. This micro USB plug can be used to charge the mouse, so we can take the mouse plug it in just like that and we can charge the mouse by using this USB cable. Now this USB cable will also carry data to this mouse which means you do not need to use the wireless receiver when you have the data uh, the data cord plugged in. This is going to be useful if you happen to be in an area where there's a lot of 2.4 gigahertz wireless interference like if you're near a microwave or if you're at a LAN party with a lot of wireless devices and your mouse is picking up interference, you can always use the data cable and mouse off of, uh, mouse off of the G700 just like any other uh, corded mouse. Also in the box, we have an instruction manual with, I'm sure there's a warranty card in here, and this looks like a yeah, that's a USB extender cable if the USB cable that comes with the mouse isn't long enough. Now with the mouse itself, you'll see that it has a nice matte black plastic finish to it. The sides of the mouse are texturized, but this is a hard, black, a hard plastic texture, not more of a soft rubber grip texture, but it is texturized. This scroll wheel itself uses either the standard click scrolling method with a little detente to stop it or you press that button and it goes into a free spinning or what Logitech calls a hyper spinning wheel mode so that you can quickly scroll through to the bottom or top of a page 
if that's something that you want. Around the back of this mouse, we can see the gaming grade laser here. This is an Avago S9500 laser sensor, which is going to be one of the best laser sensors you can buy in a laser gaming mouse. And down here, we have the battery compartment with this little pull tab to pull and activate the battery. The battery that comes with this mouse is a Sanyo Eneloop rechargeable battery in a standard AA size. What that means is that um, this battery will, of course, charge and recharge directly in the mouse by using this recharge cable. But if for whatever reason you need to replace this AA battery with a different rechargeable battery sometime down the road, if this battery ever dies or wears out on you, you can just use a standard AA size without having to buy any special kind of battery. So let's go ahead and plug that in. I'm going to go ahead and plug my wireless receiver into my computer. Let's also turn that mouse on, a little on-off switch there. Plug the USB receiver into my computer. The computer will detect. And we can see now that I'm now using this new mouse to control my computer. I'll go ahead and play with uh, some of the uh, USB polling rates and DPI rates a little later and get this mouse configured exactly how I want. Now with most mice, and actually with most computer peripherals, I would say um, you do not need to install drivers unless you absolutely know that you have to. For something like a gaming grade mouse, I would absolutely recommend you install the drivers that come with the mouse. The reason is, is because the drivers, in this case a Logitech setpoint software, allows you to adjust the USB polling rate from the standard of 125 hertz all the way up to 1000 hertz. What that means is that this mouse will be sending data to your computer once every one millisecond instead of once every eight milliseconds. That USB polling rate is one of the key reasons why you even bother paying extra for a gaming grade mouse. Compared side by side with my old mouse that I had, which is a Logitech G500, you'll notice that both mice have very similar sizes and shapes. They're both Logitech G series mice. The actual texture of the mice and the mice buttons feels very, very similar. The G700 uh, does feel like it sort of hugs and is, is skinnier in your hand because of these little contours on the side. And of course, this G700 mouse is wireless. The G500 mouse is a wired mouse with very similar performance, uses uh, many of the same internals as the G700, including the gaming grade laser, has an adjustable weight system for you to adjust the weight and the balance of the mouse however you'd like, but comes with a cord, which may be bothersome for some people. All right, so wanted to do a quick video for this Logitech G700 mouse that I just got before I tear into it and play with it around some more. And, oh, yes, uh, almost forgot. If anyone wants a copy of this uh, free uh, Red Orchestra game that came with this mouse, I'll go ahead and give this away to the first person who subscribes to my YouTube channel and sends me an email or a message through YouTube asking for this. First person who wants that will go ahead and get this. And once this is given away, I'll update the description and let people know that it is no longer available. So, thanks everyone for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.